hey look, we got a duck stuck in New York Cribs. What's up, Modern Steaders? Today's Friday, and you know what that means. It's a Modern Steading update. I hope you guys are enjoying the Modern Steading updates. Let me know what you think about the video lengths. While we're right here, and we're standing near the outdoor kitchen, the slab's all done. Came out good. It's nice and thick. We do have our threaded rods put in. It's nice and smooth. We pitched it a little bit to this back right hand corner so the water should roll off that way when we hose it down. We have one pile of fill and a pile of gravel. We want to fill this area nicer and then level it all the way off around the slab and then this way a little bit wider. We want to put a cold smoker on that side. Let's go check on the potatoes and the squashes growing in our hay bales. So they've greened up really nice. Look at that lush green color. Ooh. They're starting to get some good buds. Slug. There's still a few yellow ones, but this is how they all looked when we planted them. So they're doing good. Like, look at that leaf. Yeah. We got a flower going on over here on this one. This is a male flower, because there's no fruit. Hopefully we'll be seeing some fruit shortly. And the potatoes, the potato plants are doing good. Look at those, they're nice and green. So they have plenty of nitrogen. I don't know if you can hear all the chickens making all that noise. Let's go check on New York City. I guess as we're walking our way over here, let's look at the pig pasture. We have all of our fence posts in. I went and I got the insulators I need for the trees so we can put those up sometime. Then we're gonna run the wire. And then we can get the pigs out on pasture before you know it. And the pigs, we'll come back to them. Hey look, we got a duck stuck in New York Cribs. Buddy, how'd you get into New York Cribs? Can you get out of there? Hey, let's help you out. Don't ask me how the duck got in there. Mr. Biggs, how you doing? They wanna know. Let's go check on the ladies. We got some inside New York City laying eggs. You enjoying the nesting boxes? So we have our free choice oyster shells for calcium and our seaweed. So they don't eat a lot of it, but they eat what they need when they need it. Mr. Biggs. So we, have, we haven't seen any little ducklings running around yet, but I, I did see one of the khaki camel female ducks out here, but she went back under. She's still broody. When she comes out, she's puffed up, and she doesn't look very happy. She looks very moody. So hopefully we'll be seeing some ducklings running around soon, because it's got to be close to 28 days or over. I've been listening. I haven't heard anything, and you can't see under there. They got the nest hidden pretty well, so I can't even see what's going on under there. Oh, I tell you, Mr. Biggs. The Icelandic chickens in here are doing really well. The males, we have three of them. They're starting to crow, and they sound pretty funny. But we only need one of these male roosters. So if anybody's looking for an Icelandic rooster, leave it in the comments down below. Good morning, Spots. Good morning, Mrs. Pigs. How are you guys liking the electric fence, huh? That crow right there, that was one of the new Icelandic roosters learning to crow. So the pigs have got the winter greenhouse turned really well and it's time to get them out. They are learning the electric fence back there. And they've only hit it a few times. It doesn't take them very long to learn to respect that fence because it hurts. Hopefully within a few days we'll have the pigs out on pasture. We'll have to wait and see. We're supposed to be getting quite a bit of rain again. I know, lots of rain. I 
You wanna go show them the garden? Let's go. Come on, let's go show them. Stay over here. I guess I can't complain about the rain too much. It's slowing us down, but our gardens are still doing really well. We haven't lost really much because of the rain. Look at the tomatoes. I mean, it's kind of goofy looking, that one. But this one, these two are beauties. They got plenty of flowers on them. Some of the subscribers said to flick the flowers. It'll help make the fruits better. So while we're here, we'll give them a good little flick. The broccoli's looking nice. The cabbages. Sorry about the sun, guys. It's pretty harsh. Cabbages are looking good. Ooh, the peppers. They're starting to flower out. They're nice and green. Ever since I put my diluted urine on the peppers, they have greened up nicely. We haven't needed the Epsom salt yet. We did buy it and we have it here, but we don't need it so far. We have more tomatoes. They're looking good. We've never had tomatoes this early here in northern New Hampshire. So this has been our best year so far with tomatoes. Our onions, right here. They're starting to get a nice little onion around them. So that's good. Radishes, meh. And then in here is supposed to be Swiss chard, but I don't see that happening. We have our beets. The beets are okay. The plants I took it the hardest for so far this year is like the radishes, the Swiss chards, the beets, the carrots, the turnips. They're not doing that great. I think we're going to have to replant them. I think a lot of that is just because all the rain we've gotten, they're small seeds, and I'm sure they've rotted quite a bit. The green beans are doing nice. We even have tomatoes before our green beans. Oh, tiny little flower right there. Can you see it? Get that leaf out of your way. Can you see that purple flower? So we'll be having green beans shortly. And then on these ones, not quite yet ready to flower out, but they're getting close. Look at this corn, this corn is growing awesome. Let me get in the bed to show you the height of it. I mean, look at that. Boom, that's past my waist. That's awesome. We planted some pole beans, but I'm not seeing any of them coming up yet, which surprised me. I wonder if the seeds we had just didn't take. I'm not seeing one pole bean started yet. Hey, I lied, look what I just found walking past. Boom. That bean is doing amazing. Right there. We got another one right here. I'm going to have to try replanting the beans again. That's a weed. That's a bean. So some of the beans took, not a lot. So I'll have to try replanting the beans. I know right after we put the bean seeds out here, we got like three and a half inches of rain in two days. So that could have rotted quite a few of the seeds. We'll have to try replanting some. The strawberries are doing good. Olivia picked a berry off them the other day. So that's a bonus. There's no strawberries on here to show you, except for a few little f tiny fruits starting right there. These onions are doing awesome as well. Let's see if I can get that base. So those just got some good greenery going right now. The onion bulb itself hasn't started growing that much. The carrots aren't doing too bad. They're small, but they're doing good. Let's see, over here, watch out, Pluto. Watch out, woo! We have rutabagas, which are turnips, the yellow turnips. We got a few of those here, not too many. Another one there. There's a few. I think between the bugs and all the rain we've had, they're not having that great of a chance. That's the one thing with gardening and raising animals. You're usually going to have at least one thing that doesn't do well each year. So keep that in mind when you're planting. You're not always going to have success with everything. Experiment and be ready for losses. It's not always easy, but you got to be ready for it. Over here is the area that we had the pigs in last year. So we've been growing the food over here for free. 
with all of last year's pig's poop, manure, compost. We haven't watered it, we haven't touched it, and a lot of people have been saying, you're not gonna get anything to grow over here, there's too much shade. Well, let me show you something. Look at that, that's a thing of beauty. That's a zucchini growing in the shade. Hmm, who would have thought? That's why you need to experiment. You never know what you can grow. But just look at this area. These plants are jamming. They're as tall as Pluto, some of them. These are our zucchini, summer squash. We have spaghetti, we have spaghetti squash over here. They're starting to crawl out really well. Look at all the flowers. They're starting to put off. We're gonna be loaded with these kind of squash, hopefully. And we got pumpkins, and we got our winter squash. And these are doing nice. We need to get some cattle panels out here for them to grow up. Because they're starting to get the little tentacles that they will latch onto things with. First row up here is our cucumbers. And these are looking pretty nice. I'm not seeing, oh, right here they're starting to bud out. Oh, we'll be having some fruit pretty soon, I hope. I'm ready for some cucumbers. We want to use some cattle panels here to trellis all of our plants on. We just haven't had time yet, so we gotta go to the store, pick up some cattle panels, because we've used all the ones we have here at the Modern Homestead, and we've just ran out of time lately. Let's go check on the Icelandic chickens and the barn rocks and see how Blackie's doing. So in this chicken tractor, we have the silky hen that hatched out all these chicks for us. These these guys are six weeks old and they were raised out by her and they've been raised on pasture their whole life. So look how good at foraging these guys are. They've been in here for a day and they have just thatched this area just beautifully. Look at that. They're just going through. They don't eat as much of the grass as our bard rocks do, but they will go through and they will thatch it and look for bugs. I mean, look at this grass. They just took all the moss out of there. And now they're scratching and fertilizing. Rufus has been a really good rooster. And then we got Blackie. She's doing really well. She's all hailed up. The other Icelandic chickens haven't picked on her. And they are all getting along very nicely. And look at that, we got an egg. Thank you, ladies. Hey, stay in. Now these group of barred rocks were hatched out here in our incubators. They've been out on pasture ever since it was warm enough for them to be out here. They are 12 weeks old, and look how big they are. We could actually harvest these guys whenever, but we got so much stuff going on, we're gonna leave them out here and let them grow and get a little bit bigger for us. I'm really enjoying the Bod Rock chicks for meat birds so far. They smell a lot nicer than the Cornish Crosses did. They don't eat as much and they're growing awesome. These guys are only 12 weeks old right now. Like I said, we're waiting because we're working on the outdoor kitchen. But as soon as we are, as soon as we have a chance and the outdoor kitchen is done, we're gonna be harvesting these guys and putting them in the freezer. And they're huge already. They're a little bit smaller than the Cornishes, but not by much. They've eaten a lot less grain than the Cornishes, but they've eaten a lot more grass than the Cornishes. And we're raising all these animals here for the great quality food. And to me, the more grass you can get these animals to eat and bugs, the better food it's gonna make and the better chicken broth it's gonna make for us. This is why we do it. We'll go walk up to the house. We've got a few more things to update you here, but let's walk through the field and we can show you the progress of the field from the chicken tractors being moved on it. I don't know how well the camera can pick it up. Sometimes it's, it looks better here than it does on camera. Yeah, it's not picking it up. Let's see if we can get it over here. Oh. 
Come on, let's go. Get in. Our first batch of Icelandic chicken eggs didn't hatch out. We did candle them throughout the process and they were fertile and they were growing. Just towards the end, they never hatched. We have our second batch in and it's on day 15. So that means we have six more days to go. And we've had a few people ask about our incubators and I'm not telling you what brand they are because we're not having any luck with them. And I don't know what it is. So when we're all said and done, we'll give them a review once we have the new incubators here and we'll so that way we'll know if it was the incubators or if it was the eggs. But I'm pretty sure it's the incubators and we'll let you know. And what we thought was ginseng isn't ginseng. I don't exactly know what it is, but I know it's not ginseng. That's kind of a disappointment, but hey, that's the way it goes. Which I can feel better about now because the pigs are going to be going out in that way. And I don't have to worry about them eating ginseng on us. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And we want to thank you for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Our social media name is Lumna Acres. Bye.